Hey everyone, I'm Dan Herring. Welcome back to my channel, Fish Den 365 I'm glad you're here. Thanks for tuning in today and welcome back to Topwater Tuesday. Today we're going to be featuring a brand new bait that is exciting me already. I, I started to experiment with it a little bit, just played with it at the local pond to see how it worked. It's the Yamamoto Speed Senko. So it's a Senko, right? But it's got this speed tail on it and it's about seven inches long. So it's a meaty bait. It's, it's just like a Senko in, in that it's got that same salt content. You know, one of the things that makes the Senko so unique is that when you throw it weightless, it has that shimmy to it. It's got that shimmy as it falls. And when I saw this, I said, hey, what a great idea. This could be a really good topwater bait. So I immediately got a 5 aught owner twist lock hook here and I inserted it into the worm and when you put it in the worm you want to have it set up so that when the hook is through the tail is pointing down especially if you're fishing this as a top water that when it comes out of the pack the tail is connected together so you just have to break it apart but now it's ready to go so with that tail down you throw it out there and you reel it back at a high rate of speed and it comes to the surface and that tail kicks and it and you can fish it as a topwater. It's it has a kicking action on the surface. But as soon as you kill the bait, it has that slow shimmy down, and the tail actually is kicking as it's shimming down. And then if you lift back up, the tail kicks as it comes back up again. It's gonna be a good bait. I mean, it has all the right attributes to it to catch good and big fish. And I'm looking forward to throwing this out over, you know, lily pads, over grass fields, you know, milfoil, coontail, that kind of stuff. I, I just think this could be a really good bait for catching not only numbers, but big fish as well, because it has a pretty big profile to it. I used a 5 odd hook, and that seemed to fit it pretty well. And, you know, a lot of people will fish this bait with a weight on the front, and, and I... I you know, I could fish it that way too, but I'm not going to, not as a topwater anyway. And even as even as an underwater bait, it you know, because the Senko has that weight to it, it goes down at a fairly good pace all on its own without any added weight. And that's why I bought the speedworm. You know, there's a lot of speedworms out there. Zoom has a really good speedworm, but most of those speedworms are not weighted like a Senko. So you use that you use a bullet head weight on the front of the bait, and you can speed it along the surface and make that same action that this one has. But when you stop that bait, it's gonna go down this way because it's got the weight on the front. When you stop this bait, it does this more horizontally as it's going down. Different, completely different action. I don't think there's any other worm that will do that because I can't think of any other worm that's weighted, weighted like the Senko is. That heavy salt content where the bait wants to fall uh, has that good horizontal shimmy as it's falling. That's why I bought it. I bought two packs. One is called Mode Grass, and that's this color here. It's got, uh, it, it's kind of like a watermelon candy type color, but they call it Mode Grass. I like it. It's got some blue fleck, some purple fleck, some black fleck, along with that watermelon green pumpkinish color. And then I got a color, another one here. This is what the package looks like. And this one is one of my favorite colors for just any old Senko. It's Baby Bass. I'll show you the color here. Baby Bass is nice because it's got that, that nice green color with gold fleck in it. And, and uh, this has a really nice shine. Like on sunny days, it tends to shimmy and, and, and has a shine to it. And I've caught a lot of fish on this color. And, and you can see how the tail comes. You just have to break that apart and then it's ready to fish. Very super soft worm. You know, you know, I don't know what I paid for these. I got them on eBay, actually. But, you know, you go through Senkos pretty quickly because they're soft. But the damn, <laughs> but the darn things are such good fish catchers. You just, you just got to have them. They, they just catch fish. The Senko is an incredible bait. You know, the original Senko. And uh, now I have a more fun way of fishing a Senko because I can fish it more aggressively. I can throw this out there and speed reel it back. Let that thing go on across the surface. 
And then if I think I'm in an area that might be holding fish, or if I have a fish, you know, blast it and miss, I just kill it, let this thing go down. I'm going to catch those fish nine times out of ten doing that, I, I believe. So I'm looking forward to throwing this as the as the months get warmer. This is going to be a good summertime bait over, you know, when you're, when you're throwing over all the, the weed beds and that kind of thing. Looking forward to throwing it. Now, how will I fish this? That's a good question. You know, this, is, uh, this isn't going to be... Uh, I, I can't use my standard topwater rod for this. You know, I, my standard topwater rod is basically for lures that have treble hooks. So you need a worm rod. You need a jig or a worm rod or a Texas rig rod to throw this. And the reason for that is you've got to drive that hook through. You know, this hook has to come through when you get bit. You have to have some backbone in your rod to drive the hook through to get the, the fish hooked. So you need a good worm rod to throw the bait. High speed reel would help because you can get that thing going on the top right away. I'm probably going to throw this most of the time on 20 pound test braid. I will probably have a leader, a monofilament leader on it because I, I see myself fishing this through more sparse covers at times and maybe around stumps and that kind of thing. So in those cases, I'll probably use a 17 pound test Berkeley XT line, Berkeley Trilene XT line as my leader, a rod length or two depending on the clarity of the water. There may be some times where I would go to 30 pound test braid and just fish it straight to the bait, it, depending on how heavy the cover is. The thicker the cover, the more likely I would be willing to do that. But those are the two ways I can think about fishing. The more important thing is having that rod that has that, that you can set the hook on properly. So you're going to need a worm rod. Texas, Texas rig rod is the kind of, is the right tool to use for this kind of bait. Lots of colors I think that they're offering, you know, just like the Senko lineup has a ton of good colors. Yamamoto's got some really good colors out there, and they always come up with some of these interesting baits. They have a lot of the a lot of good lures, a lot of good soft plastic lures out there. And I'm looking forward to seeing how this works, but uh, I'm also looking forward to throwing it out there and catching some fish on it. And I did get out and try it, so I'll show you a quick video here. You can see it in the water, just me reeling it in and, and uh, along the surface and then killing it. It was a little late in the day, but I think you'll still be able to see this thing working. It's over like a tan bottom, so you should be able to see this thing going down to the bottom and see how that works. It looks pretty darn good. Take a look. Perfect. There we go. I like the tail to be down. So Connected to our line now. The most important thing about this one is how it falls, because I know how it's going to work when I reel it fast. I want it to have that Senko fall to it. Oh, and it does. Oh, that's going to catch fish. <laughs> so here's the nice thing about this one. You throw it out there, you reel it along the top. Like any old speed worm, and then you kill it. It has that real nice fall. Yep. And then you kill it. So imagine me throwing this out in a lily pad field. Get that tail kicking. And then I kill it. And it does that wiggle horizontal fall down to the bottom. Oh, I mean, the tail even kicks. Holy crap. That's going to catch fish. Especially if I put a little chartreuse on that tail. Can't wait for warmer weather to fish this bait. Looking forward to giving it a shot. Maybe spending a day with it and making a good video on this bait. Just just this one alone. Well, if you've been fishing, if you've, if you've had an opportunity to fish this bait yet, let me know. I'd like to know what your thoughts are, on it are and what you think uh, the pros and cons of it might be. And if you think this uh, video is worthwhile, please give me the thumbs up. That helps me get it out to more people. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe to the channel. Share with your friends. Still trying to grow the channel on a daily basis. I appreciate everybody watching and sharing their comments. And, you know, I feel like we got a, a bit of a community going on here. And I, I really, that's what I really like the most about my channel is, is the community of uh, great fishermen that we have 
uh, going back and forth with the comments and, and uh, sharing information. It makes us all better anglers at the end of the day. Remember, this channel is all about the art and science of fishing. Looking forward to coming out with another video soon. Hope to see you on the water. And as always, may God bless your fishing endeavors.